Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I have in my backpack for my senior year of high school. So this year I am going to be a senior. So I have my backpack set up. I start school on August 25th is like my first like full day of school. August 24th we have like a senior like orientation. Like it's like a senior kickoff dinner kind of thing. So it's at night and we just have like a dinner and I'm not really sure what we're doing but I know we have that um, the day before. So that's like technically like our first like school thing um but august 25th is our first day of school so i have my stuff set up and ready to go we are going back to school a lot of schools aren't going back or they're doing like half online half in person but my school is going fully back we are gonna be in school all day every day like normal um well, we'll have to wear masks all the time but other than that we are gonna be in school so yeah i thought i would share with you guys what i have in my backpack i watched julia christ i watched her video and i would like the way that like, she presented it because she had her backpack like on her desk and it looked really nice because you could like see it standing i don't know i just like the way she did that so that's what i'm gonna do but it was inspired by her i'm gonna do that too because i liked how it was there and then you could like see it the whole time so yeah that's what i'm doing This is my backpack. I got it new last year. The year before, I had the exact same style, just different color. It was like gray. But last year, I got this one. It's just pink. Pink's my favorite color. So it's like a almost like a mauve, mauvey pink, like a blush, like a dusty rose kind of. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's really pretty. This is just what it looks like. It's just like black um, North Face. I don't know the exact kind of backpack, but this is what it is. So I'm gonna start with this front little pocket right here. And in here, I just have a couple things. Usually, this pocket grows more things as the year goes on. But I'm a very organized person so usually my backpack stays this exact same throughout the whole year maybe I'll add some stuff take some stuff out that I need but other than that it stays pretty much the same so I just have a chapstick in here my favorites the aqua lip repair I do have like a big tub of this um, and usually I just put it like in little containers but I feel like because it's probably not the most sanitary to be using my finger to put it on my lips with everything going on so I just got like one of the ones that you can just like put right on and then I also got the extra gum this is my favorite kind of gum I don't chew gum very often in, but then I have hand sanitizer. I actually got this last year, this hand sanitizer. I found it in my backpack like when I was cleaning it out um, to refill it and I was like, oh my god, I didn't even know I had that. So I have another hand sanitizer. But I do have like a big bottle of the Germex ones that I just refill like little ones of. So that's all I have in there for now. Um, I used to keep like pens and pencils in there, but I have a pencil case for that now, as you'll see in a minute. But there are all, there are three pockets in this backpack. So I'm gonna move on to the first one, like the smaller one. So I guess it's kind of like the last one. I like to use a bunch of bags inside my backpack so this first one's a pencil case it's a kate spade pencil case we found it like tg max marshall's and it had like pencils in it but this one i filled it up with like sticky notes i just have like the sticky notes and post-it tabs and like just like sticky notes post-it tabs and like just little things like to mark pages and books stuff like that i have that i have some whiteouts and i also have a mini stapler i've literally had this since eighth grade and then i also have some paper clips and binder clips in here the binder clips are just mini ones and i throw them around but the paper clips i put like on a chain so they weren't like all just like in there yeah so that's what's in this little pencil case these are things i don't use as often like y'all probably use the sticky notes but like it's just like in here because it's not like main things i use every day um and then i have this one this little pencil case has a bunch of crayola thin tip markers i think it's just like the pack of 10 just like markers and then also colored pencils just the pack of i think it was pack of 12 i actually got these last year so yeah just like markers and colored pencils because because i feel like you need them at some point like for any cost so and then next pocket this has has like some little essential stuff um just to have like in case so first i have a little mini tissue pack just because i don't know if i need a tissue then i also have dental floss because i feel like sometimes i'll need dental floss like after lunch or something then i also just have a contact case in some rewetting drops just in case this is filled with solution and i just close it really tight just in case i need to like fix my contacts at all and then a tied to go stick because just in case and in my locker i have like a bigger bottle of contact solution in another case and then then i also have my calculator so this is just like a basic calculator that i've had for like years now and if i need my graphing calculator i'll throw it in my bag and bring it but i don't know when i'll need that or if i'll need it so because i'm taking trig recal so i might need it but i'm not really sure so i'll bring it the days that i need it but it's like a heavier calculator and i don't want to have to take, carry it around every day and then in another pocket here i just have some really pretty pastel highlighters these are just the ub ones oh they're really cute they actually have little messages on it they're really cute little highlighters so i have those if i want to like highlight stuff for fun because i 
love colored stationery. I love stationery, like pens, pencils, like all of that. And then in this zippered pocket here, there's like one of the keychain things. And I keep a bunch of hair elastics on it because um, I always need them for cheer if I forget one. I'm, I always have my cheer bag too, but or if I just want to put my hair up during the day. So moving on to the inside pouches. So that my main pocket, the big one right here, this will like fold down. And it looks like this from the inside. So first I have my pencil case. I'm going to go through that in a second. Everything just fell. So my backpack is kind of, doesn't really stay up by itself. So. so first I have a binder and then I also have two notebooks. These are just plain notebooks from Target. They both look the same. Um, I made the little labels for them and they're really pretty. They have like date on the top and they have a folder inside. So they just like that. I just cut out um, using sparkly paper I got from Michaels. This is my trig notebook and then my physics notebook as well. And then I just glued them on with Mod Podge. Um, I'm only taking notes in an actual notebook for two classes. The other ones are all going to be on my iPad this year. So I'm going to fold this down because otherwise it's going to fall. So I can show you what's in my binder and pencil case. So this is my binder. I made this collage last year for my binder. I have to like hold it like this so that way the light. Um, I just found a bunch of pictures on Pinterest and printed them all out and then cut them out and just placed them how I wanted on a piece of paper. And this was my final product and I love the way this collage looks. And I just transferred it from one of my old binders into this one and it just looks really pretty. Yeah, I think I just searched like pink aesthetic pictures, something like that on Pinterest, but you can look for whatever you want. And these are all the pictures that I found, printed them out and I love it. So this is just like a regular Avery binder. I like these ones because the binding or like the, the rings are on like the back instead of the side so you can fold it all completely backwards and go flat so i have just some loose leaf paper in here so that way i can use to turn in assignments or anything um i have a bunch of loose leaf here and then i also have a little bit of graph paper just in case i needed that and then i have some sheet protectors because i'm probably going to end up printing out some of my notes and putting them in sheet protectors so i put my year classes and my semester one classes in dividers so i have my ab art classes first i'll probably have like a schedule of when I need to complete things and maybe a couple ideas. So I have some of those. I have some sheet sheet protectors for that. And then Brit Lit, so just British literature. And so then I have a couple of sheet protectors. I could probably put notes in, homework, anything like that. Physics, that's a year class. So I have stuff for notes. Um, trig and free calc, that's another year class. I actually didn't put any sheet protectors in there. Econ, that's just a semester class, but I have it for a semester, so that's why it's in there. And then I also have Catholic social teaching. That's a semester class that I'm taking semester one. And then I'll switch out the classes that I have semester two into these last two. And then I just have two extra batteries in the Back. I didn't put any things in because I'll just put whatever I would need to like put in there and then I also just have a folder in the back to hold whatever papers I need and on the inside I had these papers I found in my drawers that just topics to study in like study guide thing so if I use them I use them but if not I don't so that's what's in this binder but yeah I'll just kind of keep stuff and I also keep a lot of my papers at home as well but a lot of my stuff is going to be online now so that's also another thing so I'll put that back and lay it back down so I can do my pencil case so my pencil case is pretty full so when you open it up it just looks like this this is a pop-in pencil case I love the color that's why i got it i got this last year as well but i like it it's a perfect size and it holds like just like my necessity things so like the pencils like all their and pens are all the same size so they end about here so there's like a little bit of space so right there i have a mini uv highlighter um this is just like a neon yellow one i'm gonna take them out as i go so now i just have my favorite pencils so i have two of them just like in case i need to like switch them out so i have the paper mate clear point 0.5 millimeter um pen pencils these are my favorite pencils of all time and they last me usually the whole year so i only have to get a couple of like at the start of the year and yeah okay so i'm just gonna like take everything out and like kind of put it back i feel like that might be a little bit easier so i have some big mechanical pencils these are the sparkly ones like the ones that everyone uses these are the ones that like everyone uses and like buys so, like they can hand out so i just have like some extras backups and like to hand out to people because like i'm not giving my good ones away so they just look like this and then those are usually at the bottom of my pencil case because i don't really use those ones if i happen to like somehow not have my pencils with me i have the extra too so I also keep a sharpie um a regular sharpie and then like the fine tip ones um just because I feel like you always need a sharpie for like some odd reason like you'll always find a reason to need it so I have those and then moving on to my favorite pens and like stuff like that so I have I'm gonna start with my colorful like pens that I use for note taking so I have a bunch of things here okay so for this year um since I am only taking notes in a notebook for two classes I have two color schemes so my trig and pre-calc class is going to be these pinks so these um highlighters match these pens really well so this is like my color scheme for that and then these pens match these highlighters really well too so that's my color scheme for um physics so like those are my pens for those taking colorful note because i always 
always whenever i take notes i have to have color into them because i feel like it's just like easier to like read and study from and they just like really look really nice so and then some of the other things that i have i have a couple of highlighters i have the muji highlighters i have actually i have three of them i have a pink blue and yellow one i like that these are double-sided um they're just like the highlighter they're also the clear ones so you can like see like as you're writing or as you're highlighting so you don't like highlight too much so i just have three of those and then there's there's a marker end on the other one side of them and then i also have three muji pens these are just the 0.5 millimeter ones i have a red a dark blue and a light blue so they just look like this yeah so they just look like that they're just like three pens just so i can have a couple color pens in case i need them and then my regular pens that i write with i usually write most of my things in pencil because we're allowed to submit pretty much everything in pencil sometimes tests and stuff we have to take in pen depending on your teacher but most of the stuff i do in pencil but for pens i do have a couple pens that i love so i like the pilot g2 0.5 millimeter pens these ones are so nice i just love the way they make my handwriting look because they are a little bit thicker um but then i also have the muji 0.38 um black pens and i like those as well for when i want like thinner handwriting so those are everything in my pencil case i know it kind of seems like a lot but like i end up using literally everything in it and i'm almost done i promise so moving on to the next section in the very back is where the laptop pouch is where i keep my laptop my ipad and my planner so this is my planner it was from target it's really pretty it looks like kate spade i did talk about this a little bit in my current favorite video but i do like this planner i'm not really going to go into detail about it but this is my planner then i just have my laptop so this pocket in my bag is pretty protected and i don't have a case in my laptop i'm not going to be using my laptop a lot during school this year i'm going to be using my ipad a lot like a lot more this year so i have my ipad in here just like, like this and then the apple pencil just goes right to the side i'm going to be taking notes and every textbook i have is on my ipad also that's why i'm going to be using it as well so that's what's in my last pocket but the back of this backpack is very cushioned as well that's why i like it um it supports my back that is there are two water bottle holders this is my water bottle this is just the simple modern brand it's from amazon it's pretty much like a hydro flask and i think it works better than a hydro flask filled this up with ice yesterday morning and there's still ice in it and i refilled it with water a couple times so i think these work better yeah i just got it off amazon and i have two of these but this is the one i usually take to school but i usually put that in a cup holder and then sometimes if i bring like an iced coffee or something i usually put that in this cup holder instead of carrying it or i'll put extra water bottles in this pocket usually i put my phone and my keys also in the side pocket because like i drive to school so i'll put my keys in my backpack because i don't want to leave them in my locker all day if i leave my locker unlocked so i keep that in my the side pocket along with my phone because it's easy just to like when i'm walking up the stairs just to put my phone in my pocket because we can't have our phones like in the hallways or in class usually so yeah so that is everything in my backpack for this school year i will be a senior in high school this year so i'm starting to think about college and everything which is scary and crazy so i hope you guys enjoyed this video that's just everything i keep in my backpack it works for me so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching um if you liked this video then like it and subscribe down below and i guess i'll just see you all in my next video. Bye guys!